Hello, I'm glad to have the opportunity to today present uh, how we take microabrasive water to the next level by using five axis control. I am Christian Eymerts, I am the CTO and founder of Fine Park Sweden. Uh, I've been working with uh, water technology for 30 years and it's a thrill for me to see how the process has evolved over the years and that we are now cutting parts with high precision and very high quality. As most of you already know, the water jet process has many benefits. Most of all, it's a non-thermal process, which means that we will not have any thermal effects on the material. No recast layers, no heat-affected zones. Other than that, it's also a process that is based on particle erosion. And since the particle erosion can use many different material removal mechanisms, the process has the ability to adopt to any type of material. So, what is specific for microabrasive water jet technology? Well, the microabrasive water technology that gives us the capability of cutting very small parts. We have jet sizes going down to 0.2 millimeters, so we can cut features down to 0.1 millimeter in radius. We can cut through different materials. We can even cut multiple layer of materials of different types that are stacked on top of each other. Since the process has a very low cutting force, we can cut very delicate, thin section. We can cut down to approximately 100 microns in cut width. The process gives a very high tolerances. We can achieve down to approximately plus minus 10 microns in tolerances, and we can achieve excellent surface finish below one micrometer in RA value. And we have the non-thermal cutting advantage. We had, do not need any finishing process to remove recast layers or remove heat affected zones. So we will have the same material properties from the core and out to the surface. So what is the challenge with uh, abrasive water jet technology? Well, one challenge is that it's a dynamic tool. It's not a geometrically defined tool. Depending on the cutting speed, we will have the jet being deflected slightly by the materials. The faster we go, we will have more of a jet lag uh, with the bottom of the cut lagging behind the top of the cut. Also in the taper and the width of the cut is depending on uh, the cutting speed. So if we go fast, we will have a taper where the width of the, uh, of the cut in, in, at the top is uh, wider than the cut at the bottom. If we go down in cutting speed, we will reduce the taper and at some instance we will have parallel walls of the both sides of the cut. And we will even get negative uh, taper. To get a really good part in microabrasive water jet cutting, we want to go uh, to a speed where we have no taper. If we have a three-axis machine, we have to reduce the speed significantly to, to reach this part. What if we could go this fast? If we can uh, have a database saying how much taper we have at a specific speed, we could uh, compensate for this taper. This would uh, mean that we would lose a little bit of the roughness quality, but uh, still we would uh, be able to, to maintain tolerances. When we build five axis control, we can do that in different manners. Uh, one uh, way to do it is to tilt uh, the jet with one axis and to tilt the part with another axis. Uh, another way is to bring two axes on the jet and to tilt it in two directions. For this test we have been using the uh, manipulation system that tilts the jet in both axes. We have made a case where we have a medical device part in titanium. This part uh, has a tolerance requirement of uh, plus minus 10 microns. It's made from 3 mm thick titanium. The taper of uh, the cut must be within tolerance as well. And we uh, need to have an RA value below uh, or equal to 1.6 micron. So, when we were trying this, we have been uh, making uh, test cuts. We tried to cut uh, with the three axis uh, setup, 
And to get uh, straight uh, walls with no taper, we had to reduce the speed to approximately 30 millimeters per minute. And it was still difficult to get rid of all of the taper for this part. So what we do now is that we want to compensate the taper by using the five axis control. And we went to cut with quality number four with the speed of uh, approximately 80 millimeters per minute. And we were actually able to reduce the taper to zero and still maintain the 1.6 micron in RA value. Of course, when we make a machine with a five-axis control and five-axis mechanics, uh, that would add cost to the machine. We will also have a running cost for the part, and the running cost will add up to an accumulated cost for, for a series of number of parts over time. But if we use the five-axis machine, that would add to the investment cost, that would be higher. So the five-axis machine would cost more, but we cut quicker, so we will have less uh, running cost for each part. So we actually reduce the running cost by 60%. And this means that when we are cutting a number of parts, the accumulated running cost will increase more slowly. And for this specific part, we will have a payoff time that is approximately of one year. To sum this up, we can uh, see that the five-axis manipulation has the potential to bring substantial benefits for productivity and economy in microabrasive water cutting. In this current case, it has shown that taper can be eliminated and part can be cut with intolerance. We see that we get typically 15% higher surface roughness. Here it's approximately a difference of 0.2 microns. And we have the potential for increase in productivity of 134%. We cut more than twice the cutting speed, which gives us the opportunity to get a payoff time in the range of one year, uh, typically. So with this, I thank you very much for your attention. And uh, I am available for your questions, uh, either by email or at the live questions and answering session after this finished uh, after this presentation is finished thank you